The facts matter. Good morning, everybody. Virgo here. It is December 18th, 2020. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas. I hope everybody's starting to feel a little bit more in the holiday spirit, as difficult as that is in 2020. But I have an interesting little ditty for you this morning. And that is provided to us by one of my subscribers and also a fellow content creator in the Watchdog group named Mr. Swendle Hoodwinked. He has pointed out here how Muzika, Muzika Bay, from the Moorish American Consulate Southeast of Mexum and UK, has put up, what does that say? The United States District Court of Missouri sent my lien back with this document. We're going to be reading that document out loud for everybody to hear. Um, and I hope any mores that are watching this pay close attention. Because to be perfectly honest with you, Mazika is lucky that his rear end didn't get hauled into jail along with this document. All right, everybody. Let's take a look. Here we go. The Western States District Court, Western District of Missouri. Beth Phillips, the Chief United States District Judge. And this states, the subject is document received on September 10th, 2020 from a Moorish National Republic federal government. By the way, she has her office phone number up there too. As the uh, designee of the United States District Court for the Western District of Missouri, I have reviewed the above reference document for compliance with Administrative Directive 14. The documents attempt to abrogate laws of the United States and or the state of Missouri and create a status which exempts the signer from the normal operation of law. As such, the documents are a nullity and without legal effect pursuant to the authority granted by the court. Administrative Directive 14, you are hereby directed to return the document to the authors per their instruction contained in the document. So ordered the 17th day of September 2020, signed by Beth Phillips, Chief United States District Judge, Western District of Missouri. Ouch. So basically what we have here is uh, a statement that says that you're attempting to try to actually do something that exempts you from the law. And guess what, buddy? You don't have that right because whether you recognize it or not, you're a citizen. Now, I know that's a dirty word to you all. You don't like the word citizen, but that's exactly what you are. You are a citizen of the United States. You don't possess any special powers. You also don't possess any special legal authority. And you generally don't possess the ability to actually be able to read even your dictionary properly. So I would suggest before send, continuing to send out liens, especially when you attempt to try to lien the United States District Courts, that you be very, very cautious because this was a warning and they are very aware of your shenanigans at this point. And guess what, guys, those Moors, those of you that are following these idiots that believe that their claims are accurate, you believe you're not really in the United States. You believe that the United States is some service corporation. You believe, um, that you can lean people, you believe that the land is yours and you can walk into uh, a property and claim that you own it and you believe that a proclamation somehow changes your status, you're wrong. And they are spoon-feeding you a bunch of bullshit. 
And what's going to end up happening, as has happened many times before over the last several years, is you're going to find yourself behind bars. And guess what? That's what they're aiming for. As disgusting as it is, your own group of people that you're listening to are trying to push you into a very bad legal situation. Now, I know you won't listen to me until, as many more that are now on my channel and subscribe to me, until you find yourself in that legal jeopardy, and then you'll go back and pay attention to what I've said to you which, by the way, is largely the reason why Light Jerry Bay doesn't have the number of subscribers that she once did and why on her calls she no longer has three and 400 people. Because she's slowly but surely getting them to lose their homes and their automobiles and ultimately their families and their freedom. You're being led by the nose off a cliff. And I hope you wake up before you do something like this and find yourself with some silver bracelets on. I don't know how much more clear I can be. I hope I'm not being too subtle. All right, everyone. Um, I have another piece of paper here that was sent by the court I'm going to show you. Here we go. The Moorish National Republic federal government. We all know who they are, don't we? We all know who they are. They claim to be the, the, the ones, the holier than thou, right? Affidavit of written initial universal commercial code, universal commercial code, which by the way, does not exist. It's the uniform commercial code and it only exists state to state. It's not a federal thing. It's not an international thing, but regardless, here we go. Affidavit of written initial universal commercial code financing statement, fixture, filing, land, and commercial lien that isn't even on a proper document. They've made up their own, but yet the judge is still warning them. Still warning them. National Safe Harbor Program they have on here. And they have uh, whereby nationals who file written UCC1 claims can file UCCs in any state, even though every single state of the UCC that has a UCC in it, and they all do, have different laws that govern each state. These people are amazingly stupid. And not only are they stupid, but now, now they're getting the attention of some of the big courts. Now is when the fun is going to start. So keep filing these. Keep filing these fancy little documents with your red fingerprints on them, Moors, please, please, so we can continue to debunk them and put the information out there and in, in hopes that we can stop your followers from paying you any more money for your scam documents. All right, everyone. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.